Hello, this is just a quickie, um, but by the title, you know, also very cocky, so I appreciate, um, you know, the seriousness of what I'm claiming. Um, so, I believe I've done it, I've, I've reached that sort of critical stage where I can say, Yes, I am at one with God. And by at one with, what I mean is, what I want to do, most of the time, is the same as what God would want me to do, in a sense. So I'm making those decisions based on the same thing that God is making those decisions. So I'm being my soul, my, my perfect soul, um, with love. You know, me and my soul there with love. <coughs> Not right now, <coughs> but I can, I can get into it. Why don't I do that? I need to sit up a bit straighter. Can you see me still? pretty much in but not fully it's about connecting to my soul and you know ha having the ability in my physical body to embody my soul to allow my full soul to be present here in this dimension, this physical dimension. And this is what our human bodies were designed for. And for any animal to execute its genetics to its best functions, you know, what it's there for, makes it feel good. So, in a sense, by going by instinct and towards the things that make you feel good deep inside, not just, you know, momentarily high or something, you know, but deep in your core, your true self, by making that feel good, you are heading on the right track. And we were fully in touch with our soul when we were born, or at least when we were conceived, most likely still when you were born. So you were, you've all done it, you've all been capable of doing it. So when I'm feeling my full soul here in this physical dimension I um, I will notice things so I might notice I'm with love and you know that's the best thing to do in a sense when dealing with anything. So if someone came to me now, whether they phoned me up or knocked on the door or something, or I'm, say I'm not sitting here, so say I'm walking down the street and 
Someone comes to my attention, I come to their attention. While I'm feeling myself, I will feel them. And I will feel their problems, and I will feel their love and their good things. I'll feel them. And maybe most strikingly how they are at that moment. And how they feel towards me. And if I feel that with love, whether it's good or bad, it's done. And my soul can go back to just either being with love or being with the soulmate or being with God. Because we've got all these symbiotic relationships that are there and ever present. It's just whether you decide to put your attention on them or not. But if I hadn't felt that in my soul and with love and the feeling was complete with that person, then that feeling would remain until I felt it. Now you could often do it without particularly realising it, or you might do it in your sleep. But what you might be getting in your physical body is just a fraction of what's going on. So it's either not strong enough to notice. Yeah, that basically. You know, and that's how we've survived. That's how we've managed to get on in this society with all this stuff going on. Is by only feeling a fraction of it. But eventually it comes through, it'll come through your dreams, it'll come through physical elements, you know, it will come through. So I'm not saying that's like I've got nothing left to feel now, but, you know, within about a minute, I can get into feeling my soul. Just feeling it a bit more properly because I hadn't, like I said, I hadn't fully got in. You know, one of the things I need to do to get into my soul is to remember that I existed before this physical life. And although this physical body does reflect something of me, it isn't me. So, um, yeah, it was just going to be a quick video. I don't mean to be blagging or boasting, but, you know, I, I feel like I've come to a major uh, threshold. And I guess I've been approaching it for a while, so for a while I've been thinking I'm pretty much there. And it's like, it's not always there, you know, there's always going to be something more to learn. But now this is, this is going to be my daily thing. This is what I'm going to be more and more in this state fully. I found it really helpful with dealing with my son. If sometimes, you know, he's 12 and he says things, does things that, I can sometimes jump into a reaction of, you know, anger, I guess. But if I just feel what's coming, because it's really, I can feel my son really easily. It's really familiar to feel my son in my soul, you know. He's, I've got really used to what he feels like. So I can feel, if I, as soon as I just throw my attention towards him, I can feel him. And so I think sometimes I can even, you know, I can even help when 
when I, when he's at school and stuff. Um, so that's something as well. Can do anything basically. This is why this power just can't be handed to anyone. You know, no one's going to get it from God until you know all their intentions are in order and. young children will do it I mean you know I remember when my child was very young the way he could you know things seem to work out you know we'd go on holiday and we'd just flukily find awesome play parks that you know it was him who was sort of bringing that into our reality So you can only, this power can only be used when, when you've become like loving, when you're not, if you are having any sort of unloving intentions, you know, you wouldn't connect to the soul. The soul is perfect, the soul is all loving. God's been nurturing us for four billion years and all of those, all the love that we've created through relationships in all of the lives we've had over those four billion years has, that's what makes our soul. Our soul is made of that love and it's we're most used to feeling our soul, you know, when I'm feeling my soul, this is what I'm most used to. In that state of, you know, there are no current problems. There's God, there's my soulmate, I'm with love. That's the norm. You know, this is having, being born as a baby in this sort of society and this sort of stuff going on is not the norm <laughs> it's never been the norm you know it's it's something very new it's um new and won't be around for long either is you know it's a birth pang it's a it's one of the trials of going from one state into another one state being our mother and father god had a hundred billion children who when put in a realm like this, in a sense, sort of disconnected from from the umbilical cord of God, if you like, where you're just being, you know, it's like a trial out on your own, but God's designed it. And we've had so many of them. But it's going from that state of unawareness as you know you might have been as an animal or a primate and just going through life like a whirlwind and then boom get to the end and oh that's what that was all about to within that life realizing what you are and then, well, we'll see what we can do with it. Okay, I think that'll do.
do I feel that will do? <laughs> uh, yeah. Just wanted to make a point of, I mean, I don't know, I think it's that I just think it, you know, last, say, three days ago to now, I just, I just do think there's been a, you know, it's not just, I think I haven't been waiting for me to be ready. I think there's something that, you know, we're all, we're all ready. We're all, something's happened, like, with the world population, I'd say they have every, you know, everybody. That it's that it's cool. That it's happening. That it's yeah. So I guess midsummer might be significant. 